All right, guys, I'm back in my garage. It is time to do some listing, hopefully. Uh, my, my mother brought me this tote of stuff that either she or I or my dad, I don't know, or I don't know where this stuff came from. Some of it she said we got together, some of it we didn't, and I'm just gonna look through it. I figured I just don't know that anything's gonna be worth anything because I feel like, now actually there is something sitting on top that I think is worth something. Oops, that I should just go ahead and list these I got off whatnot. And who's that guy, Razor Ramon? The wrestler, remember him? I used to like him, and then I just recently found out that he's gone. He passed. He passed away just last year. So I think these are moderately decent Funko Pops. I'm gonna look them up. It looks like someone's got this one listed for 1847. I'm trying to clean today, right? This was my goal. I'm kind of scatterbrained though, which happens to me. This one has no solds. Hmm. Does it have any listings? Pre-owned 1847. Let me see. All right, so maybe this one's, maybe I'll bundle this together if I can find another, oh, here's another wrestling one. Yeah, I'm scatterbrained because I've got like six things I want to do today. I've been busy and distracted and so I haven't been getting anything done. Uh, I'm going to look up this one next. This is a Sting one. It was like one of my favorites back when I was in fifth grade. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm turning 40 soon. Not, not super soon. I'm turning 39 super soon, but then 40 is next, so... Make sure you subscribe if you want to see how I handle that next year. Uh, as far as the 39 thing, that's like September 27th. So it's coming upon... Well, this actually looks like it's worth a lot of money. Hold on. Hold on. The lowest listed is 55. 30. The solds are 30. 30. Yeah, 30. All right, so I'm going to list this one for 30 bucks. That's not bad for a little Funko Pop. Yeah, so I'm kind of... I'm cleaning. I'm also trying to figure out data storage stuff. I have no room on my phone. I have no room on my computer. So I'm trying to figure out how, like what I can delete, what I can't delete. That's like a project nowadays uh, that I got to kind of solve. And so right now I'm like, of course, they got me. Apple's got me buying a little more iCloud storage and then uploading stuff to iCloud. And then after I do that, I can delete. I don't know. Typical spending more money as always. So I'm dealing with that. I'm also trying to list because I haven't listed enough lately. And I also just realized that the reseller rally is coming up like next week. And I haven't even... I mean, I guess I don't need to start packing yet. It just feels like it's it's going to sneak up on me. And then all of a sudden, I'll be flying out. All right, so I'm going to list this for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, so I listed this thing. That's 30 bucks, guys. We're on a run already. Oh, and I dropped them. Uh-oh. Mike Camparelli, friend of the show, sent me some little splitters for my wall plugs. Check this out. See that over there? Little splitter. That's pretty fancy, Mike. Thank you for that. I've already utilized... Uh, Three of them? I think all three of them. You sent three of them, so thank you for that. So I don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but Kevin, the Commonwealth Picker, got contacted by uh, eBay. He made like this video about how he was in eBay jail and how he got out of eBay jail. And then because he like listed something that was um, not the correct brand or something. It wasn't really Harley, but he wrote Harley in the title. It's the rules, so be careful. Uh, I guess it had a Harley patch. And that's something I totally could see myself making that mistake. But anyways, it all led down to eBay contacting him. And um, then a bunch of news. So he did a video about eBay contacting him. And then a bunch of news stories came out about how eBay tried to get reseller to sign NDA, which he said isn't true at all. So I think that's kind of funny. This is cool. This is not worth listing on its own. About 10 bucks. This one's worth about 10 bucks. And we'll look up Chucky. But I have a feeling he's also going to be worth about 10 bucks. Maybe I'll just do a bundle of them. I don't know. Or I could just sell them and whatnot. 1440 is an active. It's funny. Spirit Halloween sells this. Is that is that open yet? Is it Spirit Halloween time of year? No, it's sold out on Spirit Halloween. That's where maybe it's from. All right, so this one I think also will be something we sell later. So not going great so far. This one I know is good. This is something I picked up. This is just like a box of unlisted stuff that I've been meaning to list. So... This is one I picked up. This is a Fujifilm camera, and I got it at an estate sale, I think, for three bucks. Uh, I plugged it in and charged it last time I played with it, um, and it looks like it's got the charge on it still. It probably could use a new battery. Let me look this up. I don't remember what it's worth. Yeah, see, I was guessing like 40 because I didn't buy a new battery for it in charger. Normally, I would if it's worth it but it's only worth about 40 to 45. Let's see, there's one for 50. Here we go, tested and working, 44.99. I think I'm gonna list this for 40. It's not in the best of condition, and hopefully it sells really fast. I've got the CD for it too, which might add a little value. And this is just, you know, you just gotta list some stuff every now and then. I don't, I can't understand why it's so hard for me to not slack off when it comes to listing. What's your thing, guys? What's your thing you procrastinate on the most in reselling? 
for me it's listing. Oh, I also think I'm gonna take that advice from a viewer and I'm gonna unlist the oldest stuff and uh, sell similar on it. Can you do that in bulk or do you have to do that one at a time? I feel like you probably have to do it one at a time. Eh, do you? Yeah, I think you do. I think you do. I said some scuffs, works great, charger not included, battery does not hold a charge very long. I think that's a pretty good description. You know, I guess I could let AI write it. I'm just gonna do 40, even though it says trending at 48. Should we do an AI picture? Probably, I'm not going to though. Because right now it's just about getting some listings up. Is it a quantity or quality game when it comes to getting your listings up? I don't know, probably quality. All right, well anyways, two listings done. So that's 40 plus 30, we're at $70. That's a start. Let's see what else we got in this box of fun. Interesting. Yo-yos. This seems like something my mom would grab at an estate sale. This isn't really something I'd buy. Not unless it was a Yo-mega with a brain. Do you remember those? Those are probably good. $7.97 plus shipping. We'll save that. That's kind of fun. We'll put it on whatnot probably. Here's a Jimson piggy bank. That's a cool piggy bank. Don't think that's worth anything. Again, some of this stuff I think my mom threw in there knowing that uh, knowing that it was her find, but we'll see. This could be worth something. Who knows? Piggy. She surprises me sometimes with her finds. This looks like it might be missing the stickers on it. I think it's supposed to have these big stickers all down the side. The, I see a, J, a Jimson piggy bank for Greyhound that sold for 30 Like This has a number on it. Yeah, so here's two coin banks. Suburban bus sold for 52 but it's a picture of four. Oh no, so it's four, not two. Eh, same idea. Let me see these pictures. Yeah, it's supposed to say Suburban down the side. So it's missing the Suburban. If it had the Suburban, I think this would be like a 15 to $20 item, but it's missing that, so. We're not even gonna list it. I don't know, I'll ask Callie if she wants it. We've got some CDs in here, but it looks like they're just audio books that don't even have the original case and audiobook CDs right now are not worth hardly anything unless you get really lucky and these ones don't even have a case so they're not even gonna be worth looking up. This is kind of cool. Sky Dome made in Canada. I don't know what's the Sky Dome. Let me look that up. That's kind of neat. Sky Dome looks to be the Rogers Center in downtown Ontario. Okay so this one is unique. Maybe we have some Canadian friends who can help us with it. I don't see any sort of comp. Maybe this is just like a tourist kind of thing, but it says Sky Dome. Yeah, it's glass, like stained glass style. It's probably worth nothing. Cool though. It's cool. I'll set it over here. And then if you guys have any intel onto what that is or how I could list that, let me know. I don't even see anything similar. What do you even write? Stained glass? Not really stained glass, melted glass? I don't know. Let me know where to start and I could just do a listing from scratch if I knew what to call it. See, and then this, like, so I bet this is empty. Yeah, empty CD case, or DVD case, we'll throw that out. Holy cow, that is a lot of watch wristbands. That is crazy. Are these, I don't think these have any value, do they? Unless they're like some fancy brand. Oh, this is a Fitbit. This is no brand at all. I don't, I don't know. Why is this a thing? No brand, no brand. I don't know. Anyone need a bunch of watch bands? Hit me up. Hit me up real cheap in the comments. Bag of watch bands, unbranded. Pretty much all unbranded watch bands for Apple Watches. And one Fitbit. Uh, otherwise, we'll probably just uh, cycle that or donate it or something. I don't think it's really worth listing on eBay. I bet they're all small though if they came from my mom. Oh, we got a Snoopy plush, that's cute. That's probably just whatnot. I don't, need, don't even need to look it up. Snoopy 1968 Joe Cool. That's cool. <laughs> Literally, Joe, cool. It's cool. I have several people who like to buy Snoopy on my whatnot auction, so that sort of thing I'll just save. Investment collectibles. It's an investment, guys. Investment. That means it's almost surely not worth investing in. Yeah, it's cute, but I don't think it's really worth eBay. Hey, here's something that could be good. A camera. Sony Cybershot. Those can be good. It's only 10 megapixels. I wonder if it works. It's not powering on. Let's see. Is there a way to charge it? No, it's a custom charger, so I can't even charge it. So I'll look up the value. If it's worth a ton, I'll order a charger. If it's not, we'll probably just get rid of it. So it looks like a lot of people are selling this for 25, no battery, no test, but then free shipping. So 15 really. Working ones though. 70 ish dollars. I wonder how much a battery would cost or maybe I have one of these batteries Let me go look in my uh, box over there. No, I definitely mm, Maybe go look All right, I took the gamble. I just ordered the uh, the battery and charger 
Battery and charger for the 1604 delivered to my door tomorrow. <sighs> if it doesn't work, then it will have been a waste, but I can always save the battery for a future find because I do that and sometimes I find it again. So I'll just put this up on my shelf and then tomorrow when the battery comes, we'll test it. And my guess, honestly, it's a Sony. It's probably gonna work fine. And then I'm gonna be able to list it for 65 and my cost will then be $16, which is the price of the battery and charger. Okay, so what, what is this? This is, this is what we call garbage. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. You guys are gonna tell me that was like a $10,000 item, but to me that's like, I see that and I'm just like, that's just an old candle holder, it's trash. This could be fun, what's in here? It's always an adventure just looking through a thing. Oh, it's one of these, uh, okay. Little DVD player, portable, does it have the charger? Let's see, some of these are worth something. Here's a little charger, let me plug it in. All right, so let's plug this puppy in and see if she works. Power, go. Oh wait, something just happened. It lit up green. There we go. They put a DVD in it. Or is there already one in there? I think there's already one in there. Resume. We're about to find out what this person was watching. Always a risk. Oh. Over, whatever it is. Let's go back to the beginning. Dragon Hunt. Hey, that's the DVD we threw out earlier. Hold on. It's this one. Dragon Hunters. Look at the puzzle is coming together, guys. How exciting. Now let's see what that thing's worth. Don't think this DVD is worth anything, but maybe the DVD player is. Manufactured February 20. 10. So the only thing I wonder is it doesn't seem to have like a car adapter unless it's hiding in here. Oh yeah, here we go. Little car adapter. So yeah, that makes more sense because then you can use it in the car. So let me look this up. Okay, so we've got solds here. $29.99 free shipping, $39 free shipping, $20 free shipping. Oh no, $20 plus shipping. Okay, this is probably worth listing guys. Look at that. We did it. We found something. We did it, we did it. It's our birthdays and it's got a little case with it. So, you know, I think we get a little extra for that, for the case. Let me take some pictures here. Should we throw in the DVD? Might as well, makes it look like a better deal. Yeah, I'm gonna list it for $34.99 because we got all the extra goodies. I'll put it all back in the same case and I will also, what is this in here? Hold on, replacement plan. Oh, this is like a cell phone plan? Oh, someone bought the Target replacement plan on that. I bet that's expired, guys. I bet that's expired. Oh, I got this backwards. This goes here. This goes here. Then all this. Kind of load it all in there. And we'll put that up in the PDX picker spot when I list it. I almost wonder if I should list it for a little more because I just found one that sold for $49.99. I don't know. Comes with case. DVD, charger, and car charger. Works great. Yeah, I'm gonna do $34.99. I want it to sell fast. I can't imagine these are gonna go, keep going up in value. Is it lazy that I really wanna use priority as my shipping method for everything? It's not lazy, it's just I wanna use their boxes. It's really inconvenient not having boxes for ground advantage. Let's see what else we got in here. Now, first I see a McDonald's toy, straight off the bat, that's nothing. Um, oh, this is cool. Disney Day, this seems like maybe just a family's thing. It says Disney right on it though, Disney Day. Was this a giveaway? Let me look this up. I went to Disney yesterday and I was like kind of appalled at how like, what's the word? I don't wanna say rip off. Um, at how overpriced everything is and at how like unappreciated I felt compared to Universal and I'm not like, a Universal fanboy, but I've been a Universal pass holder for a couple years now, and they treat you really good if you're a pass holder. Whereas, like at Disney, I don't know, man. They were they were pretty rude. Most of the people were pretty rude there. And also, like the discount doesn't apply everywhere. They've got some kind of shady dealings with the the like Magic Bands, where the price has really increased, but not really. Like all the boring ones are still available very cheap. But if you want anything that's Disney themed at all, like with well, here's an example, right? This is my old one I got a couple years ago. We paid like 25 for this, I think. And this was like the fancy one back then. It had Timon and Pumbaa on it. And so we went to go get new ones, figuring out oh, 25 would be like the fancy price. And uh, uh, basically they start at 35 now and at 35 they have like just well, a plain color and if you want to get anything with a design it's 45 and it's, it's just a band that you scan to get in the park and to get on fast lane rides but 45 dollars for one for a family of five and i'm just like whoa i guess we're not getting any because my whole thought was oh well i'll get one at 20 25 maybe spend 100 120 bucks 130 bucks but it turned into like 300 dollars real fast and i was like nah we can't do this a little depressing but they like their money disney speaking of liking their money i see one listed on this hat uh for 20 
50 and one for 15. So people have been trying to sell these, but I don't see any sold. And there's one for 10. So I could list the lot for 15 or I don't know. We do giveaways. That's what we could do is giveaways on whatnot. That's, I'll probably do that. Those will be whatnot giveaways. This is funny. Someone just sent me this. Joy of Flipping said, someone, someone sent her a message selling used Levi's and the person wrote, for some reason, the thought of wearing other people's clothes turns me in the other direction. I was wondering if you'd take an offer of 20 and free shipping. She has it 25 plus shipping. It's like, if it would turn you in the other direction, then why are you shopping for used clothes on eBay? Very bizarre. Very bizarre. Some of the questions you get on eBay. Okay, this is an interesting item. Check it out. It's a cow from the cow parade. Cowparade.com. Look, it's got this little, this little drink. It looks like it's missing an umbrella in its drink. And it's got its little udders there. That's cute. I wonder what this is worth. Let's look it up. You know, the eBay image search does not work for me anymore. Like, I can use the barcode function on the eBay app, but if I try to do images, it just, like, returns nothing. Does it still work for you guys? Hmm. I don't see this one. Cowparade.com. What's the name of it? Take it easy, cow. Oh, 50. Someone has a listing for 50. Someone has a listing for 100. And he sold. This is always the dilemma, finding someone who actually wants the item. This $50 one has the straws. So I got to come in cheaper than that. I'm going to list it for, I don't know, 30. Be super aggressive and see if I can be the one lucky person to sell the thing. Because no one else is really having much luck. Mine's got the tag, though. Was that free shipping? No, it's plus shipping. 50 plus shipping. So I'm going to do 30 plus shipping. This one would be cool to photo room. Uh, this thing at a beach or something. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that. Let me do that real quick. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm pretty hungry. Now, yeah, the problem with, with putting it at the beach is it ends up looking very um, large. Uh, maybe I could just do like a bokeh effect. Bokeh is like a blurry background kind of thing. Yeah, that looks good. That looks fancy. I use photo room, guys. I know you're going to ask. You don't need to comment. I use photo room. No, I don't have a coupon code or a discount code, but it is pretty handy. It is pretty handy. So, yeah, I'm going to do $29.99 plus ship. I bet ours sells because we're pricing it so low, but we'll see. The weather is finally cooling down in Florida. Finally. So you can go outside and not just instantly want to take a shower. Hey, this is a cool item. A little tin toy. Let's try it out. Ooh, he moves fast. Well... His wheels spin fast, but it doesn't really move fast. Oh, that's kind of weird. Is there a brand on it? It just says made in China. But does this, do his legs move? Aren't his legs supposed to move? His legs aren't moving. Someone has it listed for 17, duck on a bike. Vintage shilling? Is it a shilling? Maybe it is. Yeah, it might be. Collector series, vintage shilling, duck on a bike. That's brand new. 17 plus 12 shipping. Yeah, I don't feel like this is going to sell fast. This is uh, BLIC for collectors, not children. So maybe it's not shilling. So yeah, he moves. Okay, so you got to push him and then he moves. And he pedals his little feet. That's kind of cool. You probably can't see it. You turn it and then you have to give him a little assistance. Here kind of... <laughs> He's driving across. I'll probably just save that one for whatnot. That's cool. And these feel like the cheapest headphones ever. They're like wannabe Apple earbuds, but they are Century brand. I don't even know why I'm looking these up. Yeah, these are worth nothing. Boop. Uh, okay, so do I even want to list this? Yeah, yeah, it's a Sony, actually. Sony CD player. It looks like it's got an iPod dock. Some of this stuff can be decent if it works. Let me plug it in. Yeah, iPod. A romantic saxophone Christmas, which is another random CD in here. Put it in. Let's change it over to CD. Play. Get ready for some romantic jazz. I'm ready for Christmas, guys. I'm feeling very festive. Merry Christmas, everyone, and to all a good night. Uh, what's this worth? This is, you know, functional. I don't, I don't hate it. It's a brand or the mine. It's a Sony, but what's the model? Here we go. Found it. Sony 25 S2 IP. Actually, it's a ZS, not a 25. I can't read. S2 IP. First thing that comes up is a remote for it, power cord for it. Here's the item. 29 free ship, 31 plus ship, 47 plus ship, 25 plus ship, 29 plus ship, 29 plus ship, 21 plus ship. Mm. It's kind of on the edge here. 20. I mean, I probably should list it if I can get 29 plus ship. It's just, 
a pain to ship this sort of stuff. I don't know if I want to mess with it. I guess I should. I'll do it. Whatever. We're gonna do $29.99, cause if I'm gonna, well that's with the remote that someone sold. I'm gonna do $24.99 plus shipping. But then it's gonna get caught up in a promo. See this is, my brain goes to all these places. Then it's gonna get it caught up in a promo and I'm gonna get $18 for it. And I'm gonna ship this giant CD player for 18 bucks. I'm gonna be like, why did I do this? Why did I ever list this? What was I thinking? This is a lot of work for very little money. And yet here I am doing it anyways. Because that's just how I roll. Maybe it'll sell fast. You never know, but it takes up room too. Like for a $20 item, is it really worth it? This is the ultimate question. What would you do? Would you list it? Would you not? Would you just save it for your own next yard sale and sell it for five bucks and be done with it? That would be my temptation. Well, we're almost through this bit of fun, guys. I don't know. Sometimes I make episodes like this. Should I? You tell me. Okay, so back to this episode of Ramblings of a Madman. I noticed this over here, this thing. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I want to deal with this. Wanoko Yarn Co. Fine Knitting. It's 1923 and it's just a whole giant thing of knitting needles. And this is like one of those things I probably should go through and look at all the brands on and see if there's any good ones, but man, do I not want to. Fingertip number four, made in Canada. Ugh. But then again, there could be something really good. Is there any such thing as a super bolo Knitting needle? Because if so, I would regret just rushing this and listing it as a bundle. Look, some of these don't even have brands on them. Mm. Fingertip size eight needle, 12 inch Canada, $6.99. I don't know, I, I, my temptation on these would be just give them away to uh, a relative. I have a few relatives that like knitting. So normally when I get these sorts of things, I would just give them away. But if you guys think they're worth looking up, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna set them aside for now though. Got a raggedy Ann. Andy or Ann? Andy, Ann, I don't know. Uh, in there, how old is that? I'm gonna just put this on whatnot. I'm not even gonna look it up because I know the whatnot viewers will like that. And then you got Sporting News, Baseball Immortals. Oh, these are cool. These are glass. Herman Ruth. Yeah, that's glass. Dale Murphy. That was just two of them. Let me look this up. This probably isn't worth anything, but actually this isn't bad. It's ceramic, limited edition. Hold on, let's find a sold though. That's just a listed. Sold is the important part. Yeah, and this is where the story changes. There's no solds. There's listeds for 20, but no solds. And then I've got Dale Murphy for the Braves. This is cool. If like you were a sports fan, I could totally see this being exciting. So I'm not gonna like throw them out. I will put them on whatnot for two bucks. And someone on there might want them. So we won't toss those. We'll save them for an auction. It'll make someone happy. All right, this is the last couple items. Uh, these two are just PVC figures. There's no way they're gonna be 15 bucks on eBay. And then you've got these, which I have to doubt are worth 15 on eBay. Is there a name on them? No, wait, maybe up here, H. These are something I don't know much about, but like little dolls like this, I have to assume they're not great. It says H25 on the back, H25. I will check, I'm gonna try Google Lens. If they don't show up, we'll put them for two bucks for the pair on whatnot and just get them going. Emily Schwink Vinyl. No, that doesn't look great. That's the problem is I'm seeing stuff that's good, but I don't know which one it is with only an H. There's people that have it listed for 20 bucks, but I'm not sure if it's the right one. So I'm not even gonna mess with it. I'm not passionate about it. Oh, look, 1999 Mattel pull along toy. That's cool. Does a little, oh, you can't see it. What am I showing you? Nothing. Those are always fun. Let's see what that's worth. That's something I'd buy and then be like, why did I? That one's going listed for 20. Again, what do the sold comps say, Dave? There's a wooden one that sold for 26. This plastic one has no solds. Let me see if I can find any more listed. There's a really yellowed one listed for $7.95. Look at that, how does it get that yellow? That's crazy. So if I wanted to list it, I could probably list it for 12 and be patient, but I don't. So that means we made it through this whole bin. All that's left is some more CDs, Christmas time with Com Thomas Kincaid. Oh, and an army patch, I'll put that in my unlisted. Uh, and the Let It Snow thing. So, oh, it's a little pin. That seems like something my third grade teacher would wear. All right, how much did we get out of that whole bin? Let's take a look here. One, two, three, four, five. That wasn't from the bin originally, but that's all right. Five, four from the bin, and then, I don't know, actually it was only three items from the bin that got listed. And then the other two were things I put in there. So, Still though, and they may or may not never uh, may or may not ever sell. Twenty six, so about ninety from that bin. More if I get that battery that I bought and that other camera works, that would bring it up to like one hundred fifty. Um, and then the other stuff that was sitting on top, the sting was thirty, and that other thing was forty, so seventy. So really, we only listed about one hundred and seventy. <sighs> Sometimes that's how listing goes, though, guys. You spend an hour 
listing and get 150 in listings and only five things up. But I did clear a tote, which I think is, you know, pretty good. And what I'll probably do now is put anything that I wanted to sell on whatnot in that tote, like little bundles like this that I can start at two bucks. And then uh, it'll be in the next whatnot auction. And then everything else will either get donated or go in the trash. So. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this really uh, random episode. Not quite what you'd expect. Maybe I'll title this something like, what does a reseller do with his time or something? And then it can just be about listing because I feel like there's a lot of people who are just starting who could potentially find this sort of content useful and educational. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.